This video is a quick tutorial on how to install the VMware Workstation VMware tools inside your Apple OS X. If you follow the proper procedures to install VMware to install Apple OS X inside your VMware Workstation, this is the right video for you. As you may know, your as soon as you install Apple OS X inside your VMware VMware Workstation, one of the primary things you're not going to be able to do is install the VMware tools directly inside your prime, directly inside your host Apple OS X. So what you're going to have to do is that you're going to have to download a, you're going to have to download the VMware tools from a different source. As you can see, I have it pulled up right here. What um, you can find this source down on the down at the description below once you do that and you hit the download button what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open up the vmware tools either it's going to prompt up as an executable or you can find it inside your finders folder under your downloads tab once you open it up it's going to prompt you up with this thing that says vmware tools click install vmware tools hit continue but before you click on install first things first you're gonna to have to go into the system preference once you go inside the system preference go into security and privacy once inside security and privacy type in your password and enable a app store and identify developers this way, you won't have any issues when it comes to installing the VMware. Once you hit install, it's going to prompt you up with it's going to prompt you up with a few things. So I'm going to hit install. You're going to hit continue installation, further and further, all the way all the way until you get to the final the final installation, which is the summary. From there, it's going to ask you to restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, make sure you shut off, you shut down your virtual machine and start it back up. Once you do that, you have successfully installed the VMware tools inside the Apple OS X Cataline for VMware Workstation. This is going to allow you to this is going to allow you to add devices such as flash flash drives, special tools, gaming devices, etc. What it's not going to allow you to do, unfortunately, is allow you to connect a CD or DVD drive. Unless you have an external CD or DVD drive that you can connect inside your USB port. It will allow that for some reason. Um, so right now I have a USB flash drive connected, connected directly to the current host, my, uh, the, Linux, the Linux operating system that I run. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect it from the current host onto my Apple OS X to show you that the VMware tools are properly working. So once I hit, once I follow the following prompts, you're going to see that my flash drive disk has all, is that my flash, my flash disk drive is right here inside the virtual machine. So these are all the files that I have currently inside it. It's a brand new flash drive. And just one final test, just to show you that it is working. We're just going to create a new document. Once we create a new document, new file, we're going to drag and drop it just to show you that it's properly working. And as you can see, you're allowed to drag and drop. This is very beneficial when it comes to running virtual machines from running virtual machines. It's going to allow you to save files from your current host to your virtual machine and to do it vice versa. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or any concerns, please leave a comment below. If you guys want to know a little fur if you guys want a further explanation on how to install Apple OS X on the VMware workstation, please comment below so I know some of you guys are interested. Till then, enjoy this video.